Good morning everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. If you're new to this channel, you just found us, welcome here. We're all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in ways that are sustainable for the long haul. So if you're new, consider subscribing. All right, today's workout. Well, summer finally hit the Okanagan. Yes, hallelujah, I'm so excited. Just a gorgeous day, it's gonna be a gorgeous week. So we are focusing on getting some sexy summer shoulders, all right? Tank top season is upon us. So we need to build some sexy boulder shoulders. All right, so that's this workout today. Here's your format. We're gonna do 30 seconds of work with only a 10 second transition in between. We're gonna do a shoulder, then a cardio, shoulder, cardio, okay? So uh, we did that with legs the other day, now we're doing it with shoulders because summer, right? We gotta get those uh, shoulders all ready for that. All right, so you're gonna need a variety of dumbbells. I'm gonna start a little bit lighter, sort of in warm up mode. If you would like to do a full warm up, go ahead and Follow the card right above there. I am already slightly warm, and so round one, we're gonna transition into lighter weights and, uh, and continue with warm up mode, okay? All right, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Repeat, 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 and we're gonna have some sexy summer shoulders. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay, we're starting with a little squat, flip, and press. That's coming up in three, two, and let's go. All right, I've just got eight pound weights in my hand, again, for round one, just to get everything nice and warm and ready to lift a little bit heavier. All right, so shoulder cardio, shoulder cardio. That should just be lovely to build some nice shoulders. Again, the cardio is great, getting that heart rate up, but that's also a little bit of fat burning in there too, so we can see those sexy shoulders, right? Last one right there, set it down. Let's go into some squat jacks, squatting just in the center. You can modify that with a squat tap to the side. Here we go. Get low, Good. drop that butt. But you know, I've said this before and I have a how to lose arm fat video. I'll link the card right above there, but uh, you know, there's lots of videos that say you can get sexy shoulders and sexy arms and thin arms in 30 days, but as we know, it takes a lot longer than that, doesn't it? You gotta do this kind of work consistently for years. Okay, palms down, front raise, shoulders back, knees soft, ready, let's do it. Yeah, they're just not built overnight, girls. So give yourself time, be consistent with the process, and eat clean. That's basically how you're gonna get those sexy arms, right? Up. Stick your chest out here. This doesn't have to be fast. Nice and controlled. You're setting one weight down, holding a weight for this cardio move. All right, set it down. You're gonna do an overhead hold, high knee. You can run it or walk it. In three, two, here we go. Don't drop that dumbbell, please. Have a good hold on that guy. Ten seconds. In three, two, all right. I'm going a little bit lighter. Hitting a lateral raise here. Out to the side. Ready? There we go. Up. Good, make sure that pinky's high so you can really focus on the side shoulder there. Good, stick that chest out. Jumping lunges coming up for our cardio. Set those down. Okay, you can just hit a reverse lunge to modify if you don't want jumps. Otherwise, let's switch quickly. Ready? Let's do it. 
low, low. I'm going to kick it up a little bit with my weight for round two. Good, last five seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Okay, I'm going a little heavier for round two. I'm grabbing some 15s here. Let's take it nice and wide. Squat, flip, press. Let's go. Whew, it's quite a bit heavier. That's for sure. It's a good challenge though. Stay tall, and if you feel your arch in your back, lighten the weight. 10 seconds. The last one. All right. Back to our squat jacks. Shake that out. Ready? Here we go. Front raise coming up. We did a lot of yard work this weekend. And by we, I mean Quinton did. I cheered from the sidelines mostly. Actually, uh, so nice to get outside and finally make it look fresh again. It's been looking so gray here lately. All right, front raises. Grab your lighter weights or go heavy if you want. Palms down. Here we go. And up. Um, I just got my nails done, so we went up like into the forest looking for some rocks for our um, front planter beds. And I'm like, I'll help you. But I didn't because of my nails. So I'm like, well, that one looks good. And then I would just point. So that wasn't the greatest helper. High knees, overhead hold. Ready? Here we go. But boy, could I point at those rocks. And it looked really sexy too because the nails were long. So. There's that, halfway, lateral raise coming up, three, two, time, Whew, let's work, all right, get ready in three, two, and pinky high, Said only 10 seconds left. I could have gone heavier here. I guess I'll go with the eights next round. Ready and time. All right, jumping lunges. Let's get into that full split, split lunge. Get that heart rate up. Here we go. Halfway. Four, three, two, time. Whoo. Okay, back to the start. Heart rate is getting up there. Squat, flip, press. Let's do it. Halfway. Last 
Last one. Nice. Squat jacks. Whew. That one definitely works. Here we go. Ready? And low. Ten seconds. Okay, let's go into that front raise. Shoulders back, soft knees, let's go. Arms come up to 90 degrees, slow on the descent, good control there. All right, overhead hold, high knees. Ready? And let's go. That's it, halfway, get those knees up. Come on. Don't adjust your hands while it, this is on your head here. Okay? Bring it down if you need to. Woo! That was work. All right, laterals. Oh, I was gonna go heavier. May as well for the last round. Ready? And up. Now, no forward leaning here. Stay nice and tall. Pop that up to 90. Right there. Nice job, everyone. One more cardio, then a little break before we move on. Okay, so I want good jumping lunges, okay? Literally, 30 seconds, and then freedom. Ready? And here we go. Halfway. Whoo, keep going. Whoo, lactic acid, eh? Okay, that's good. Grab water, pause the video, come right back. Now in this round, you're moving to all single side exercises. So hitting a bit of rear delts, your back shoulder, you're hinging forward at the waist, single side rear rows there, okay? Then you're gonna go to single side upright rows. And then we've done that palms down front raise, now we're turning them and doing single side palms up front raise, okay? With our cardio in between. All right, let's get started with that rear delt row. So grab your weights, you're hinging forward at the waist, shoulders back and back is flat in three, two, and single side right here. When, when you pull up, think of that rear delt, your back shoulder retracting and squeezing at the top, okay? I definitely will go heavier next round. This is just giving me a good indicator how heavy I can lift for a 30 second time frame. And now I realize I can go a lot longer, so then we bump it up. It's a good way to gauge where you're at. In three, two, and one. Squat jumps coming up for our cardio. All right, feet are shoulder width apart. You're jumping up and down. Squat it out if you don't wanna jump. Ready, let's do it. Here we go. Little pop at the bottom here. It doesn't have to be much. Just get off the ground and you will feel your heart rate rise. Upright row is coming up, single side. Halfway here.
in three, two, and time. Okay, grabbing my eights again. Single side upright, shoulders back, ready, and here we go, up. Get that elbow higher than your wrist. You're halfway through. Watch your chin. But that's how high it should be, right under the chin there. Ice skaters coming up for the cardio. In three, two, one. All right, sit those down. Some big jumps side to side. In three, two, here we go. Get low, should be hinged at the waist here, okay? Like a speed skater. Nice and quick, let's go. Pop, pop, come on. Five seconds in four, three, two, one, done. Ugh. All right, that front raise, palms up, single side, ready. Knee soft, bring it, bring it in front and slightly across the body, okay? Bring it across, you're going to target a little bit more closer to the armpit area there, in the front shoulder. Jumping jacks coming up for your cardio. Last one there. All right, jack this up. In three, two, let's do it. All right, so that was round one. Determine if you can lift heavier for round two and three. Again, that's how we're progressively overloading the muscles by challenging yourself in that 30 second rep range. Okay, three, two, and time. And just because it's 30 seconds doesn't mean you have to go fast either. You could get 10 reps in in 30 seconds if you're slow. Ready, single side, pull it back, retract and squeeze that upper delt, that rear delt rather. Pull. Body should not be bobbing. Okay, you're totally still here. That's it. 10 seconds here. Squat jumps coming up. Try not to rotate your body either. You're straight parallel to the ground. Okay. Squat jumps in four, three, Two, let's go. Little guys. Squat it out if you can't. Do the impact right now. Halfway. Upright rows next. Woo, that's it. All right, stick your chest out, roll the shoulders back, hold them back there, and now lift, here we go. Single sides. Ice skaters are next. In three, two, and time. All right, ready? Big jump side to side, get low, and start.
come on, make it big or make it long. If you go higher, you're gonna feel that heart rate just jack up a little bit more. Land soft though. You're doing well, three, two, time. All right, palms up, front raise. Woo, ready, you're up. Let's go. You're gonna have a slight softness in your elbow here. Palm faces the ceiling though. Jumping jacks are next. Make sure your back is flat. Stick your chest out. Last one. Okay. Let's jack it up. In three, two, here we go. Halfway. Three, two, time. All right, run one more round. Rear delt row, ready, and single side, up. If you have a mirror, make sure you're getting up to 90 degrees. Pull, slight squeeze at the top. Super flat back. Just gonna flip sideways to show you how flat my back is. Especially in the upper shoulder blades there. You're not rounding. Okay, keep it tight. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, and time. Good job. Whew. All right, little squat jump. Ready? Let's do it. This little guy there. Halfway. Palm up. Upright row coming up next. Upright row or palms up? Front raise. Front raise next, sorry. Well, it's one of them. And we'll do the other one in a second, so it doesn't matter. All right, in three, two, here we go. Up and cross. Ice skaters for your cardio. No swinging here. Be intentional about that front lift. Okay. That's why if you lift heavier, it's fine to take your time. Okay. 10 seconds. In three, two, and time. Ice skaters. Okay, get low, ready, let's do it. Let's see, pick up your pace or increase the height of your jump. Let's go, almost there. We want your heart beating fast by the end. Okay, upright row. I'm gonna go a little heavier here since it's our last one. Ready? Single side. Single side, you can always lift a little bit heavier. Oh, I got an itch, sorry. Uh, because you aren't exerting as much effort, right? So I'm 15 pounds at a time versus 30. So go a little heavier, all right? Elbow high, 
jumping jacks to finish this circuit here. You know when you got to itch and you just have to. You can't even not, because it's all you can think about. Here we go. You wouldn't believe how many times I've edited it because <laughs> I've had to stop and scratch something. That's it. Keep it going. A little break coming up, so a little faster here. Go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, that was hard. Okay, grab some water, take a little break, and join me back. All right, we're starting with an Arnold press. Palms face you, and then they turn away from you. Ready? Here we go. Up and out, bring them in. Now, I've seen a, a bunch of different ways of doing it, the Arnold press. A lot of people bring them down really low and then press up. Some people keep them at 90 degrees and press up. Today, keep them at 90. It's a little bit more difficult. You don't get that reprieve of being at the bottom of the contraction. You've got to keep tension on the, the shoulders and that's what we want today. All right. Three, two, and one. Good, set those weights down. Let's go for a little split, uh, split squat. Split, split squat is your cardio. You can reverse lunge squat to modify, all right? Split, split squat right here. I switch lead legs. I don't care what you do if you want to. It, it's a little bit of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. Good for the brain. All right, you're halfway. Coming into some reverse flies for rear delts again. All right, so you might want to go a little lighter than your Arnold. All right, that's it there. A little bit smaller of a muscle, and just because I've got this injury, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here just to see how it feels. Hinge forward, round the arms, retract. Oh yeah, see? I'm not gonna go super high for me. I'm just gonna focus. Normally I would squeeze it a little bit higher and really focus on squeezing my shoulder blades. I'm just gonna come up to 90. Almost like a lateral raise for me here. Okay, working a little rear delt. See, you've got an injury, you gotta work with it. You can't put yourself past and re-injure or further injure. You don't wanna do that. All right, let's go into some butt kicks with cardio here. Three, two, here we go. I am gonna give you burpees as your last cardio, so. If you're like, this is easy, just wait. You won't be saying that in a second. <laughs> okay, um, front raise coming up. So we've done palms down, palms up. Now we're gonna do palms facing for your front raise, okay? So nice and neutral grip. Five seconds here. All right, time. Grab those weights. Knees soft, shoulders back, ready, and lift. Up, down. So really focusing on not swinging knees. I want to use my muscle in the front shoulder, not momentum, right? Stick your chest out each time. Up, tight tummy. Burpees are coming up. Good, five seconds. Time. All right, let's do it. 30 seconds of burpees. Not bad, we can do it. Ready, and go. Get your bum down. You're laying it out right into a plank. Of course, you can walk these out to modify them. Woo! Okay, back to Arnold's. Oh boy, it's a hard transition. Ready? Here we go.
Try not to rest at the bottom. I just caught myself doing that. Ugh. Five seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, split, split, squat for your cardio. Whew. This is a fast one. Ready? Here we go. Okay, neutral grip, front raise coming up. Halfway. There's your time. Whew. Okay, front raise. Palms face. Three, two, and up. Butt kicks is your cardio. Chest, nice flat back, up to 90. In four, three, two, there's your time. Okay, butt kicks. Good times. Ready? Let's do it. Reverse flies for your shoulders is next. Then into those burpees. We'll finish off round two for us. Let's go. Good pace right here. Come on. I know it's an easier cardio, but you can get intense and quick and make it really hard too. Come on, in three, two, time. <sighs> Reverse flies. Okay, hinge forward at the waist, rounded and start. Okay, so if some of you did this video with me the other day, I told you that we're supposed to get a new washing machine because our spin cycle didn't work. Well, they brought the washing machine on Friday. He's like, ma'am, I just need to show you that everything's in working order here. I'll turn it on and I see no leaks, but no, water started pouring out the backside. Oh my goodness. So they're like, oh my gosh, this has never happened except for to you. All right, that's it. Burpees. So he's like, I'm so sorry. Well, not your fault, dude. But they took it away and now we have zero washing machines. Here we go. So I called this morning, I'm like, uh, when do you think I might get a washing machine? Oh, it's on back order, ma'am. Are you kidding? So that's fun. So I said to my husband, I gotta take my laundry over to my mom's to do time, who lives in town. And he said, Arm presses, sorry, ready, and go. He's like, why would you do that? You have so many friends who live up here. Just take it to your friend's house. So I'm like, no, that's rude. I'm not gonna take my dirty laundry to my girlfriend's. And he's like, well, then I'm doing it. I'm like, no. So anyway, one of my best friends, I'm like, hey, told her the story, would you mind if I took brought a load and did it. And she's like, oh gosh, no, come over. So she's like, I'll just take it for you and put it in. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. Like, I don't want you to have to do my laundry. She's like, Tracy, it's fine. Ready and go. So anyway, I go over to her house in the evening because we're having a birthday party for a friend there. And she has it all folded in my hamper, <laughs> which means she folded my underwear she pulled up Quentin's underwear. Like, that's a good friend, I tell ya. It's a good friend. Anyway, I'm praying for a washing machine this week. You don't realize how awesome they actually are as an appliance until you don't have one. Okay, it's hard to talk and jump. 
heart raises. Okay, I'm gonna rest, you tell me a story. Here we go. Up. Stick your chest out and go. I used to teach this half an hour ab class at a gym years ago. Half an hour of abs is a lot. 10 seconds here. And like whenever anything got really hard, I'd pretend like I was coaching and checking people's form. <laughs> I can't really do that here. Okay, butt kicks. Uh, yeah, just sit up and go, okay, well now what I want you to do. That was a lie. I, I just needed a break. That was too hard. Okay, remember, intention on these. Just kinda get into it, a little lower, hinge forward slightly, and kick, 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 let's go. Halfway, come on. A little faster. Good. Reverse flies. Hinge forward, butt out, chest out. Start. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And even a slight pause up there. Yeah, I have to go really light on this one for that shoulder. But light's fine. Even just holding your core and your tummy in in this hinged forward position is work. A little glute, a little lower lumbar, it's good. Okay, last burpees, and then a little water break. Get ready, hit them hard, let's do it. Jump at the top. Come on, lay them right out. I'll have to check the video footage. I hope I am. Woo! Last one there. Oh, goodness. All right. What a break. Last circuit coming up. Okay, we'll start you with a relatively easy one. A little rotator cuff. So palms are up. Okay, and we're coming out to the side. In and back. Here we go. Out. All right. So you're trying for full extension on the side there. All right, again, don't go fast and rip your shoulder out. Slow and controlled and a little squeeze at the back side there. Okay, gonna help that ball and socket get strong so it doesn't slip out like mine did. Sheesh. Okay, cardio coming up. You've got a little crisscross jumping jack. That's your cardio. Oh, yeah, that burns. Okay. Criss cross jack. Criss cross. Ready? And here we go. Right here. Bring those hands in front and crisscross the legs. A little combo move is next with our front lateral combination. Right? In four, three, two, time. Nice. All right, I'm just gonna stick with a little lighter. Feel free to do eights or tens here. One in front, one to the side, and let's start right there. Okay, so we've got a jumping jack center, side squat, jump, okay? It's a little tricky, I'll show you in the break what it looks like. Good, last 10 seconds here. See how my body's staying facing the front? Just letting the arms do the work without momentum. Last one. All right, set those down. So you're gonna side, jack, side. All right, ready? And side, jack, side, jack, All 
All right, our last shoulder one. It's gonna be a plank shoulder tap. So you're working the shoulder by doing that isometric contraction in the hold. All right. Kind of like a little burn out that shoulder. All right, good. So down in plank position. Modify this from the knees if you need. Otherwise, you're in a plank. Feet are a little wider, tapping your shoulder. Here we go. Of course, we're getting a little abs as well. Nice and slow. The key is not to shift the weight on your foot. All right. Good, last 10 seconds, bum is down. Side to side hop for your cardio. Okay, that's good, come up. We're hopping side to side. Ready, in three, two, and here we go. Rotator cuff coming up, round two. In four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, there we wait. Shoulders back, knees soft, tummy tight, and out. Make this more difficult if you want by standing on one leg. Okay. Focus a little bit of balance. I'll call halfway here. And there you go, switch legs. Whew. That burns the shoulders. Don't let them fall. Keep them at 90 degrees. Three, two, and one. Crisscross jack. Ready? Here we go. Front lateral combo. Lift a little heavier if you can. We're getting towards the end, so now you can push yourself. Okay? As long as you keep good form, you've got to say that you don't want to compromise. Okay? You don't want injury. In three. Two, time. Pinky. Okay, what did I say? Oh yeah, front lateral combo. Knees soft, shoulders back, ready. Start right here. That's good. You're halfway. In four, three, two, and time. All right, cardio was that center jack, side jack. Okay, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Here we go. Center, side squat, up, side. Feeling good. I'm glad I hit shoulders today. Actually feels pretty good. A few exercises that I just need to be cautious of still, but I like having good tank top arms. You know what I'm saying? Okay, plank shoulder tap. Get down in three, two, and tap. Looking good. Last five seconds right here. Okay. 
up we go good good side to side jump and then our last round so challenge yourself lift heavy if you can ready here we go There's a guy out, uh, walking in front of my house right now wearing no shirt. Yay, it's no shirt season. <laughs> uh, like literally, Kelowna has been cold. This spring has been unseasonably horrible. And the fact that it's gonna be in the 20s all week, oh, in America speak, that's like 70s, low 70s. Mm. Oh, hey, what are we doing? Help me, help me. Rotator cuff. Sorry. See, I was getting excited about the summer. The summer fun. Okay, last one here. Concentrate, Tracy. Yeah, no, it's, it's about time. It sure does change everyone's demeanor. Everyone is happier. It just puts a little spring in your step. When it's sunny and you wake up, man. And you feel the warmth, it feels better. I love it. And there's your last one right there. All right, moving into our crisscross jack. Get ready. In three, two, here we go. Front lateral combos next. Halfway. Nice and quick now, come on. Bop, 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 bop. Let's go. Pick up your pace. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. Front lateral. I'm going eights. I'm going up in the world. Ready. And let's do it. Up. Body is straight ahead, and remember, rocking those shoulders here. Last 10 seconds. That feels good. In three, two, time. All right, center jack, side squat. Ready, and side squat. Side, center. Side. Halfway. Get low, really low, and jump high. Come on. Almost done, guys. In four, three, two, one. Okay. Plank, alternating tap. Last one down here in three, two, and tap. You wanna make this more difficult for the last round? Alternating leg and shoulder. Lift your leg as well as your hand. Slow and controlled. Let's go. Come on. Da, 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 da. We'll, we'll do a quick shoulder stretch when we're done here. Okay? If you have time to stay, join. If not, we'll see you in the next video. Three, two, time. Yeah, good job. All right, well, let's stretch it out. All right, nicely done. I hope your heart rate's come down a little bit. Let's go ahead and put one hand behind your back, okay? So, you're gonna pull facing that or that direction and tilt your neck in the same way and just 
lightly pull. You want to stretch into this front shoulder here, but not pull so hard that you're reefing into that area. Just nice and relaxed, nice and gentle. And just tilt your neck slightly forward. Okay, just increase that stretch a little bit. That's it. All right, switch arms. Oh, see, this is my injured side. I gotta just do it really lightly. Okay, little tilt there. At the very end, I'm gonna show you a stretch that I've been doing that has helped increase my flexibility in that shoulder there. So stay tuned in a few seconds for that one, okay? All right, little forward stretch with the neck. Oh, it's tight. This is a good one if you're sitting all day at a desk anyway, right? All right, let's bring that arm across and stretch into that front shoulder. So great to isolate body parts if you wanna make a change in them, okay? You know, everyone's doing glute exercises these days and that is why we see so many big booties. Switch sides, it's true. If you want to find glutes, again, I've referred to Brett Contreras before. He's actually got a place down in um, San Diego called the Glute Lab. The Glute Lab. So it's a laboratory <laughs> designed to scientifically build glutes and that's what he does. It's quite something. A lot, a lot of glute exercises. It's phenomenal. I just, I love that, uh, again, that he's done the science and the research and he's got some clout and he's got something to say about how to, how to do that. So I appreciate that. Palm down, press down, reach up and over. I'm just stretching a little bit here into your lat, tricep, forearm, wrist. Okay, just hold that there for a second. Anyway, so you want to build shoulders, you want sexy shoulders for summer, then you've got to not just train them once a week because that will not give you what you want. Switch sides. You've got to train it multiple times, okay? So then your split would look a little different then. You might bookend your week with specific shoulder workout like this one. That's like 45 minutes of isolated shoulder exercises, right? Um, let's round right here through the chest stretch. You know, and if it's glutes or if it's abs, chest, back, whatever it is, you do the same thing. So you want to build something, you've got to put more time and attention, not just one or two exercises per week, right? Lots of concentrated effort. Arms back, thumbs down, and just tilt the neck again, getting that front shoulder a little bit. Roll those wrists and tilt the other way. Uh, okay. Let me just show you that uh, stretch. So what you do is take a pillow and you can do this seated so the pillow doesn't slip, but placing the pillow behind your back and then your hand goes behind. So again, you're increasing the depth of the stretch. And if you can just camp out right here. Now, easy if I'm rounded right here, but if I sit up tall, ooh, and I drop my hand slightly, Press them down, not so easy now. Like that really is quite a phenomenal stretch. So sometimes I'm sitting on my computer, I'll just get the pillow, just kind of sit and stretch things out a little bit. I think that's a good idea to keep those ligaments and joints all in there, all pliable and well oiled, okay? All right, well that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Thanks for joining me. Hey, and if you didn't see my favorites video from our, our last post, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here. And if you want to watch another workout like this for arms, building sexy summer arms, go ahead and click or tap the screen right there. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition.